Here we have a Grunfoss Scala 2 pump and the client uh, claimed that it is leaking. So I need to get behind this shroud here and I'll show you how to do that. Once again, this is the Grunfoss Scala 2. So we have to take off this bottom plug here, take that off. We have to take off this union here. This has a check valve in it. That comes off. This top one has to come off. And this prime hole has to come off. This has a check valve on it too. Now with those off, you see this slot here, slot here, and there's two on the other side. Just take a flat screwdriver, put that in there, and give it a little flex out. That one, that side, same thing here. Okay, now with this plenum removed, we have access to this part. Now this, there's a hairline crack right here and I know that's the problem. This has been leaking right here. So I have a spare part, I have a spare, I don't know what this is called exactly, but there's one, two screws there and then eight around this. Take off those 10 screws. Um, this comes out, it's just a little clamp that holds this plug in. With that clamp out, this pulls down and out that out i like to put that back in just to hold it well whatever we'll just keep that out um now these screws are a star bit i took out those eight here's nine and ten okay with those ten screws removed with those ten bolts out this comes off now this is a little pressure tank um this just screws righty tighty lefty loosey this little pressure tank is righty tighty lefty loosey so just lefty loosey unscrew it and then that comes off the new this part comes as a complete unit so you have to use the old pressure tank so the replacement parts, it's a suction cover kit for the Scala 2 composite. This is the part number, 9901-6047. And what comes with that is the new, um, new one of these molded plastic and a couple of gaskets. and this little metal piece all right so between the new one and the old one here we have to take out this part this stays with the pump this part comes out this little metal piece here is, is there's a new one with the new pump and then this uh, metal bracket here and that's just uh like a 7 16 nut there so we gotta put that on this new one. And then this comes out and this will go into there. In the new kit comes these three gaskets. This gasket here is for inside of the pressure tank. This gasket here that's got a lip on it is for the, right here, the back side of this. is that's that gasket okay so that gasket goes on there and the other gasket this large o-ring goes right here around this so that'll go on here all right with the metal in the new one the gasket put on the center thing put back on this gasket put back on i use a little bit of lube this stuff called lubrifilm just like a silicone sort of grease. Um, with that all put back together, the pressure tank can get screwed back on. Righty tighty. Okay, with that all put back together, we can slide it in place. Uh, tighten this pressure tank until it stops. It kind of just... There's a little groove and it can only go so far. Plus this valve has to be at the top in order to line up uh, with the exit there.
with that attached, this goes back into place. Just slide that in. The holes will line up, get that seated. Uh, we do need this off the old, um, the old housing. And that goes right here on this one. Drop my lock washer. Here, lock washer and nut. Okay, so then when we put our screw on, uh, that goes through there and there. So then we just put these 10 screws back on one there, one there, four on this side, four on that side. One thing to note is there was one bolt with a lock washer on it. That goes in this one hole here. All right, with the last of our bolts put into place, this is back together. Now this plug, uh, I believe can only go in one way. Yeah, and so we slide that up. Slide that up into place and then our uh, locking clamp this thing goes back in the groove till it clicks now this plug can't pull out okay then we put our housing back on just push it till it clicks okay and then our caps can go back on. Keep in mind that the bottom one here um, is the one with the check valve in it. Now, if this falls out, it can only go one direction. So um, anyway, just remember that it goes in this bottom part here. Okay, screw that back on. Hard to do one handed, but that goes on. This goes on the bottom. That's our drain plug. And the top one doesn't have anything in it. That just goes in here. Turn that. And then our primer. That goes on there. Now, there you go. And like I said, this one had a hairline crack right there, and the water was streaming out of that when. It was coming up to pressure so yeah i think it was just the fact that this top plug got over tightened um, there shouldn't really be any thread tape on this and you only need it to be hand tight so no thread tape there is a gasket on here so just make it hand tight you don't really need to wrench on it with a pliers or anything that's probably what had happened it's just got over tightened but um, there you have it, the dismantle and remantle of a Scala 2 by Grenfoss.